Hi, I'm Maria Stein, and I'm a new uh, resident in the community, and I am for the whales, and uh, I think uh, it's good for the community. Uh, it's gonna bring change, and I just would like to remind to everyone that uh, um, it is the right thing to do to have the sanctuary, because the, uh, the whales are, they live in the ocean, they have the, the right in there, and it's just right for us to bring them back to the ocean. It's where they come from. They've been there for millions of years, so they, they trump us. They trump the generations that was here like for 100 years. The whales has been there for millions of years, so it's their right to be back in the ocean. Thank you, but I think we should be do, we should do uh, the right thing and the humane thing for the way and for the future generations. Yes, well, uh, thanks a lot for your presentation again. And uh, my name is Peter Connors, and uh, I uh, I represent 180 fishermen on the eastern shore. And that's an industry that's valued at about 40 million dollars that contributes to the eastern shore. Part of your problem is, uh, besides where you want to put it, is your approach to it and your consultation process. You come in here, you pick out a place, without con consulting with the fishermen or anybody else, as far as I'm concerned, because I haven't been part of it. The last meeting I went to, even though I represent 180 people in a $40 million <coughs> industry on the shore, he gave me 45 seconds to say a few things. I expected to have a give and take with you and to have a discussion with you. You took the microphone from me, you ran over to the other side of the room to ingratiate yourself with the audience. You answered a question that I didn't even ask you and went on to the next person. I stood on my head for the rest of the night trying to get the microphone back and you wouldn't give it to me. Now that's, that's how the fishermen, what kind of a message does that send to the fishing industry? After we just went through all this NDA process, one designated for the eastern shore here, one designated for Pinham Point, one designated for, for Mount Jolly, or Jolly. Everything you're interested in, a lot of the people that's interested in this was also interested in that. It was people suggested to me that we didn't need a whole MPA. We just needed a park, a marine park around Taylor's Head and all the other park that was there. And they threw it out. So we're got a big problem here. The fishing industry uh, has a multi-million dollar lobby against it. And, and we don't know who's who. But right now, it's like somebody here said, we all have licenses to fish in Area 32, and that's part of it. And we haven't been given the consultation that we deserve. But even if we had, we wouldn't agree to a passage like that being blocked. For two reasons, because the fishermen have used it. We support the local community. Shake your head there, buddy. We have, we have to know what's going to go on here on the Eastern Shore. I've had one of my questions answered already by Peter, or by you, that the provincial government will come in and hold hearings at some point. And I'll have more to say at that point and I'll have more to say to him before. Because I know some of the things that he's got in plan for the Eastern Shore. Tourism is one of them, and we support tourism. I take particular exception to all the people who say that the fishing industry is going downhill. I'm making three times as much money in a fishery a day as I ever made. It employs fewer people. But all of this propaganda that's being put out there by the proponents of this here. And all these partisan meetings. 
where the opposition has managed time limits on this and limit debate to that. It's no good. And it's dishonest to suggest that people here don't want change or that we don't want anything here. We want a pop mill here when I was flooded. It went to pick up. They were going to have gypsum shipped out of here. We wanted that, fought for it. It went to another part of the Nova Scotia. We'll take something when it has something to offer. I just can't see all of our young people graduating from high school, graduating from university, and coming back down here to feed fish. <laughs> Unlike everybody else, this is a sanctuary to me. Everybody used to work to the islands that had boats and went to the islands. And they're the people that don't want this. And a lot of them don't even want the tourist industry. They don't want to go to an island and have two bus loads or two boat loads of people from Texas there. Do what okay, they do Peter, where they used to go. That's five minutes, Peter. There you go. Peter, before you read the mic, Peter, let me ask you a couple of questions because you and I have had a number of conversations, and I do want to just take exception to a couple of things you said. One is, at the last meeting, there was a large community meeting that we had at the Lions Center. You mentioned that you had 30 seconds to speak. How long did you speak that night? I never timed myself. Well, I was but, it was, but all, my only point is, it wasn't 30 seconds. You spoke for quite a long time on a number of points. And I think we gave you the time during that evening to speak as you wanted to. So I just, I just want it to be straightforward as to what you're accusing us of when I don't think that's the case. No, no. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. My part is still in my head to get that microphone back to get a second chance to respond. Because okay. I had more to say and I never got it. Okay. And don't you try to make a liar out of me. I'm not saying that. I'm and the second thing that. I want to take up with you okay. is this whole notion that this is going to be this way and these rules are going to be that way. You know how many times I went through uh, with DFO and, and uh, the Provincial Department of Fisheries and all the regulations they're going to put into agriculture and everything else. I, I understand that. And creep. Free, free. Yeah, and I, I don't, I can't speak to that. You experienced it, so I respect that. All that I can say about us, because I can't speak about anyone else, is that what we said is what we believe we will do. And if you don't trust us to honor that, I can't change that. Lori can't change that. But we're honest in what we're presenting. We don't represent DFO, we don't represent any other groups. We are who we've said we are. I, with respect, you were, you were kind enough when I was here last, I don't know, three weeks ago, something like that, to invite me to your home. I appreciate that. We had a conversation for an hour or so, 45 minutes, something like that. That was kind of you to do. I appreciate it. And in that, I did ask if we could have a meeting with the fishing community as well. And certainly, and maybe it's too late for that as I listen to this group, but certainly that request still stands. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a fisherman in Mushroom, and I'm a resident of Chee Harbor, but I grew up in Mushroom all my life. Now, I seen, I've been on, the, I'm watching this going on for the last few months, and every time I, it seems like there's something being changed. Now tonight, uh, all the other meetings, there was no mention of putting a shuttle in to, down to Malagash to go see the whales. Now I see here tonight, now you're talking about putting a parking lot in down Mushroom at St. Paul's Church or Powers Road, and shuttling people out to the out to see the whales. Did, was anybody asked, Jen, in, in, nope. on the island about, nope. about this? No. I don't think they want that. I know why, if I was living down the island, I wouldn't want 
five or six or ten, twenty buses going down uh, down the island to see the whales every day for an hour. Do you think they want it? I know I do, and I don't live there. I mean, I was on the fence for this, but I can tell you right now, every time I go to a meeting, there's something new, and something new, and something new. So guess what? I'm out. You're not welcome. Take them to Sherbrooke. They want them. Yeah.